Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, Shobhi Madhav is here with a new lecture of the electrical engineering and electrical machine series and today uh, we are going to understand the operation of a generator or the working or principle of the generator that how the generator produce the alternating currents and the voltage ok. Now what is the principle of the generator? A generator is an electrical machine which is used to convert the mechanical energy into the electrical energy. So this is the fundamental definition of the generator, it requires the mechanical energy which is given through the prime mover and always the generator is coupled with the prime mover and prime mover is the source of the uh, producing of the mechanical power and that output of the mechanical power through the prime mover is given to the generator which is mounted on the same shaft of the prime mover and then the generator or the alternator uh, will convert that mechanical energy as the input and it will produce the electrical energy. An electric generator is based on the principles of the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Whenever a flux is linking with the coil as changes and EMF is induced in the coil or the direction of the EMF induced is directly proportional to that lines of the cuts of the flux. Like in the expression of the Faraday's law E is equal to N d phi over d t. So here if the lines of the cuts of the flux are more and already the coil has the number of the turns of the uh, wires then EMF will be produced. Now, in the generator principle, the direction of the induced EMF is given by our direction of the induced EMF and the current is given by right hand rule. So according to the right hand rule, the thumb, stretch out this thumb, forefinger and the middle finger, middle finger, okay. Now the finger like stretch the thumb, forefinger and the middle finger, middle finger of your right hand okay, so that they are right angles to each other. You can see the thumb and middle finger both are right angle to each other now. Now forefinger points the direction of the magnetic field. Now you can see this thumb will show in the right hand rule the thumb will show the direction of the motion of the conductor with respect to the magnetic field and this forefinger shows the direction of the magnetic field and this middle finger shows the direction of the induced EMF and the currents ok. You can see that it is written over here. The forefinger points the direction of the magnetic field, the thumb will show the direction of the motion of conductor and then middle finger will point out the direction of the induced EMF for the current. So the essential components of the generator are that there are the three main essential or the major components okay, of the generator. Number first is that a magnetic field. Now what is the magnetic field? It is the area or the space or the region around the magnetic pole in which it experiences some force that is called the magnetic field ok. Second is that group of conductors or the conductors in which the EMF is induced. Now in the DC generator there are the two windings, the field winding uh, is which is to be uh, mounted on the pole uh, on the like stator side ok. Uh, which uh, in which the magnetic flux is induced and the armature winding is placed on the rotor side which is the rotating winding and EMF is induced in the armature winding of the DC generator. Now the third is that the motion of conductor with respect to the magnetic field. Now with respect to the magnetic field the motion of conductor. Now in the case of the generator the shaft of the your armature winding is driven through some prime mover and that prime mover will produce the mechanical energy that as the input to that electri uh, electrical generator and DC generator and that DC generator will produce the electrical energy through the mechanical energy by the, through the conversion. And then in the case of the DC motor the power flow is the reverse one. Now in the case of the DC motor the DC electrical energy is given to the DC motor and it will convert it into that electrical energy is converted into the mechanical energy. Now for the understanding the how generator is produced the sine wave 
So consider a simple loop generator through this diagram and through this waveform. We have to understand the how this generator is produced the alternating sine wave with the help of this magnetic pole under the influence of that magnetic pole. So number first is that consider a singleton loop A, B, C, D rotating clockwise in a uniform magnetic field with the constant speed as shown in figure. Now as you can see consider a single loop, a simple loop and the singleton loop generator like A, B are the coil sides under the influence of the north pole and C, D are the other another coil side which is under lies under the influence of that south pole. Okay, so this is that single turn A, B, C, D you are rotating clockwise in the uh, like when the uniform magnetic field with the constant speed. Now as loop rotates the magnetic flux linking the coil sides A, B and C, D changes continuously. Obviously when this loop is rotated, okay, then what happened in the clockwise, then what happened now A, B and the C, D uh, they are turning and they are changing their positions. Hence EMF is induced in these coils also changes and but EMF on the one coil side because the coil sides are always under the influence of the opposite pole like AB is under the influence of the north pole and CD is under the influence of the south pole and other obviously. So this will aids the induced EMF in other. Okay. Now consider this uh, singleton generator A, B, C, D okay, through this points. When loop is in the position number 1 according to this figure, if this is the figure number 1 okay, and this is the figure number 2. Now when the loop is in the position number 1 in the position number 1 now a b and the c d okay a b and the c d cutting no magnetic flux and they are moving in parallel to it means they are in parallel to each other and they are cutting no magnetic flux and at the point of the one emf is induced is the zero one as you can see through this waveform at the point number one the emf is induced as the zero because the a b and the c d coil sides cutting no magnetic flux. Now when the loop at the position number 2, now when the loop is at the position number 2 and the figure number 1, so the coil sides are moving at an angle to that magnetic flux and therefore a low EMF generated at the point 2. Now if these at the point number 2, the coil sides is changes their position slightly towards the magnetic pole and at the point 2 the slightly low EMF is generated okay and then as you can see through this waveform at the point number 2 the EMF low EMF is generated because the coil sides A, B and the C, D are moving towards slightly towards uh, turning towards that magnetic, flux, magnetic pole okay at the point number 2. Uh, makes, uh, at the point number 3 as you can see at the point number 3 this one the coil size A, B and the C, D are at the right angles to that magnetic flux and are therefore cutting flux at the maximum rate and hence the, at the instant the EMF is generated at the maximum induced in the point number 3 as you can see if this is the 0 degree okay and this is the 90 degree and this is the 180 degree. So in the sine wave in the positive peak the at the sine 90 okay this is the point number 3 at the position number 3 the maximum EMF is induced uh, maximum EMF is generated at the point number 3 uh, which is lies on the 90 degree of the sine wave and what happened at the point number 3 according to this uh, diagram number figure number 1 as you can see at the position number 3 the coil sides A, B and the C, D. Now these A, B and the C, D uh, both are these coils are right angles to each other okay and when both are coils uh, both are lies under 
uh, like uh, right angles to each other now emf is generated at the point number 3 will be maximum uh, and then obviously uh, it indicates the point number 3 and uh, according to sine wave sine 90 will be equal to that one it will generate the maximum amount of the induced emf on the point number 3 now at the position number 4 this one at the position number 4 again the generated emf is less because the coil sides are cutting magnetic flux at an some angle okay now at the at the position number 4 the coil sides are cutting uh, uh, at the magnetic flux at some angle at an angle and then it again it uh, produce the less amount of the emf generated in comparison to that point number 3 now at the position number 5 no magnetic lines are cut and hence induced emf is equal to the zero now again the point number 5 and the point number 1 has the same position okay now at the point 5 like at 180 degrees now again the coil uh, uh, again back to that or, uh, main position of that uh, one and then at that point what happened the magnetic lines uh, are cut and hence no magnetic lines are cut and hence emf is induced in the zero at the point number 5 because at this point and the point 1 they have the same position now at the point number 6 as you can see after that the cycle is reversed after the point number 5 the cycle is reversed and again back to that one and now it generated its negative peak okay negative half cycle uh, and this is the positive half cycle is generated and now after the point number 5 uh, 6 7 8 again the cycle is reversed and it will produce the negative half cycle of the ac supply voltage now at the position number 6 the coil sides move under a pole of um, opposite polarity and hence the direction of the generated emf is reversed as you can see this direction of the, this positive negative half cycle is reversed to that or opposite to that of the positive half cycle and after that uh, 5 position up to that 8 or the 1 position again the cycle is uh, reversed and that will called as the negative half cycle of the ac supply voltage and then the maximum emf in the direction or the reverse direction in the figure number 2 will be at the position number 7 and will be 0 at the 1 as you can see in the negative half cycle of this uh, ne uh, our ac sine wave now maximum emf induced at the point number 7 which is the 270 degree which is the minus 1 sine 270 is equal to that minus 1 and again it is 0 at the sine 360 degree so again this 0 indicates the 360 degree sign and this will be sin 360 is equal to the 0 okay so now this was the generator simple loop generator which produced the ac sine wave in which it generates the positive half cycle of the ac supply voltage and the negative half cycle of the AC supply voltage as you can see this waveform okay now from the one position up to that 8 so this is the complete cycle of the single like in a single turn a, a, gen, a single turn uh, rotating in a clockwise direction in a uniform magnetic field uh, having the a b c d uh, and they are under the influence of these opposite poles now AB is under the influence of the north pole and CD coil under the influence of the south pole. Now the generated EMF in the loop is the alternating one okay. Now in this loop in a, sim, in, in a single in a single turn ABCD coil side generator it produces the alternating EMF okay uh, 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 EMF induced uh, which is the alternating one. Now it is because any coil side AB has EMF in a one direction under the influence of the N pole and in the other direction under the influence of the S pole. Already I have uh, uh, explained you that uh, there are the two coil sides like AB and the CD and the AB side of the coil is lies under the N pole and it produces a uh, half cycle 
uh, and in a one direction and CD will produce a uh, induced EMF in a other direction okay and under the influence of the opposite pole. Now if load is connected across the ends of the point loop now if we are going to connect the load at the end of this point uh, at the end of this loop now the alternating current will flow through the load. If we are connecting any load then obviously the load uh, is to be turned on and the alternating current will flow through the load. Now the AC voltage generated in the loop can be converted through the commutator because in the case of the DC generator, DC generator always not always produce the DC current always and always through the armature winding of the DC generator the current is always in the alternating one and we have to convert that alternating current into the direct current by there is an connecting another assembly which is called as the commutator which is the mechanical rectifier which is has the function is that of the commutator is that uh, is to convert the alternating current or AC voltage into the DC voltage which is called as the mechanical rectifier okay. So this was the operation of the generator we have discussed through the simple loop generator and in that in this our lecture we have discussed the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whenever flux is linking with the coil is changes and EMF is induced in the coil if the lines of the cuts of uh, flux uh, is more d phi over dt is more and the coil has n number of the turns of the wire then EMF is induced in the coil and uh, we have discussed the fundamental principle of the generator that it converts the mechanical energy into the electrical energy and we have discussed the Fleming right hand rule that is stretch out that thumb uh, forefinger and the middle finger, middle finger right angles to each other thumb will indicate the direction of the motion of conductor for forefinger shows the direction of the magnetic flux of the field and this for middle finger shows the direction of the induced currents and the EMF in the coil and that was the uh, generator principle uh, we have understand in our today's lecture and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.